Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays for some more Manhunt Checkpoint with ooh, all kinds of silly shenanigans going on at the moment. So we've got let's let's have a let's have a run through the uh, what what we're doing with the rules at the moment. So the first and most probably most obvious thing as you sort of saw there is that we're playing with the um, the realistic handling mod are turned on and that means that the cars in theory handle a bit more like their real world equivalents would um, which may basically means they're a lot lot worse than the sort of the cartoony arcadey handling that you get in uh, in GTA normally so braking distances are much longer as you saw just then um, you can't fling a car into a corner in quite the same way it'll lose traction and just slide all over the place so it's driving is a lot harder but I have discovered if you drive slowly and sensibly then actually it's not too bad it's only when you start driving like a lunatic that it really affects you so I'm gonna try being vaguely sensible this of course affects the hunters as well so they've, they've been driving all been driving around like lunatics and really struggling because of it the other thing we've done is that we've got the um, we've got the check we set the checkpoints so that so they're only visible to the prey or they're only the only the prey knows where they are um, and that means that they they ha they can't the hunters can't just sort of sit guarding checkpoints. They know that um, they know that I'll be going for checkpoints, and they have a pretty good idea of where all the checkpoints are because we've been playing this game for long enough now, and we have we probably should add some more checkpoints really. Um, but so they they know they they'll be able to see from the circle that I'm heading down into the ghetto, and they know that there are a number of checkpoints down here, and they have a reasonably good idea of where they are, but they don't know which one I'm going for, so they can't just sit there and guard it. So hopefully. That'll give me a bit of an advantage because there's quite a few of them and the game is at times quite difficult. Um, it's pretty quiet here, I'm just going to go for it. So I could be going for any of the ghetto checkpoints at the moment. They don't know, I might be going for Rails Cross, I might be going for Ghetto Church, I might be heading down towards the. Um, 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 down towards the airport checkpoints, uh, which I could do as well, but if I get down to anywhere near airport loop, they'll know that I'm going for airport loop because there is only one checkpoint that far down. So I need to stick to the ones that are more in the middle of the city. So we're going to take this one first. Let's take that from here. There we go. And just That was some terrible driving on my part there. Ooh. That's And that's what I mean about the realistic handling making things a bit harder. So, I've got a better car than him. So that means I've got more acceleration, much better top, probably better top speed. I might have better handling. I honestly don't know. But actually, getting to use any of that is slightly tricky because the um, the realistic handling makes oh, things like things like actually, you know, going round a corner quite difficult. We don't have, re fortunately, we don't have realistic damage, which might be about my only possible saving grace. <laughs> I think we have the system that allows me to turn the um, the circle off when I'm in a chase turn off, active, active as well. So if I can get a bit of distance on him, which I should, oh, this is a nice, a slightly bigger road now, so that should allow me to yeah, put, put down some distance like that. However, there is then going to be a need to corner. Oh, I've taken that one out. That, that's, that's gone quite well. It's a nice wide road. It's almost a, <laughs> yeah, it's a huge wide road there. So I've been able to fly around that at a decent speed I can see still see one of his red headlights way behind me but I'm now blimmin miles away up the far end of the city so however oh no <laughs> I just don't have the brakes to slow down from that sort of speed and if you start turning you lose traction and it just gets harder and harder so now I need to somehow get away, probably switch vehicles because this one has been spotted and then get all the way back down to ghetto in order to take the rails cross checkpoint which is really really close to the one I just took but I, I ran away, in, in my running away I've ended up quite a long way away but I think I didn't see anyone when I looked behind there so I'm going to try and switch cars see how this goes this is an Astro which is not a good car However, the not good cars tend to be a bit easier to handle because they don't they don't have the same performance, so they don't have quite the same sort of quirky weirdness that the or excitable weirdness, should we say, that the sports cars have. So let's keep moving. Um hopefully, if I'm lucky, they'll think I just had a massive crash and 
um, and, and was re recovering from that and have just kept move, moving across the city at high speed because I think because I, I think they think I'm still in a oh, chase. That was bad. Okay, that's given me away because I had a crash. Um, but I had a crash because I lost control of the car because, as I said, they've become much, much harder to drive. Oh, so, right, I'm going to head back into Ghetto again. Couldn't dodge that because I didn't have the grip for it. Um, if I head down here, right, if I go along here and then... Oh, keep my eyes on the road, that would help, rather than looking at the map. Um, and then if I go up here, this is a slightly odd direction. Um... Yeah, I think this is probably a suitable place to try to try changing cars. Let's pick up that that SUV there. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to give it a shot. Get in the car. Right, there we go. There we go. And I'm pretty sure at this point that I'm not being chased. So I think I can head over and take the checkpoint, which is... Well, here's... No, this isn't the railway lines. Finding Rails Cross should be easy, because you find one of the railway lines, and then you follow it till you find the other one. And one of them is there ahead of me, so I'm nearly there. There's a marked car over there, a sort of splash of lime green. Other than that one, let's yeah, let's, let's run the lights, because I can't see anyone near me. So. Ooh, that doesn't pick up speed very quickly. And it... I don't know. At slow speeds, it goes around a corner okay, but then anything goes around a corner okay at slow speeds because it's it's low speed. It's easy. Um, so I'm going to push through here. Uh, it's a red light, but I'm going to go through it anyway. Grab the checkpoint. Okay, that's number two. That's a good start. Bang. Ooh, through that. Right. Nothing behind me. Good. Oh, this is this is this is stressful and difficult because the cars just don't respond properly. I was, this is my second, this is our second try with this, um, with the, with the, with the mod active, and I'm, I'm I'm struggling a lot more this time than I did in the first one. I don't know whether the um, the cars I'm using are better or worse or something that's leading to them being more difficult, but it's more difficult. Pier entrance, Mirror Park South. Oh. That's a di that's a difficult choice because they're both quite. <laughs> Pete going sideways through the junction there. Um, they're both quite exposed checkpoints. Um, Mirror Parks, or at least I say they're both quite exposed. They're both fairly remote checkpoints, as in they're not very close to any other checkpoints. They're, so if they see me near one, they're going to assume I'm going for it. So I think my best bet might be to look as if I'm trying to look as if I'm going to beach checkpoint. What's going on up there? There's a stopped car. No, I think it's a panicked AI. That's all right then. Um, if I go, to, if I make it, try and make it look as if I'm going to beach, and then shoot up the um, the, 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 the 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 coast up to the pier. I think that's probably going to be my best bet for taking that. There goes Pete again. He's, okay, he's well past. I'm going. So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that if I'm a bit more aggressive, then I stand a better chance of taking checkpoints. Um, I don't have any sort of hard evidence for that, but it's a sort of a gut feeling that if you keep moving, you're not sitting around, you get to the checkpoints quicker, so you're exposed for less time. You look more suspicious while you're doing it, sure, but you're, you're out there for less time looking, being exposed. Um, and, and so there's, and, and you don't tend to build up the cars around you in quite the same way as you do if you're, if you're going slowly. So hopefully... If I look around, see there's nothing behind. Ooh, got a green light anyway, so I'll follow. Follow that uh, Regina in front of me. Through here, yep. This is promising so far. We've got another red light, and there's a massive queue of cars. Oh no, it's gone green though. We've got a massive cluster of cars surrounding me though. That's not good. That's not a good sign, because a lot of the hunters will play play the work work with the. Um, they they all know. That if you see a massive cluster of cars, there's probably a player around because of the way the spawning works. And I've talked about this in the past, um, but basically, cars will spawn in if there's a player nearby. If, if they're sort of driving in order to drive towards where that player is. There's an orange. <laughs> oh, they're good at this. This is brilliant. Uh, I'll let them play happily together over there while they're um, 
distracted. Am I play, playing like an AI? I can't tell at this point. I think he's suspicious. I think it's time to run away. Try and run. Try and run. Oh, <laughs> stop it! Just <laughs> let me go. Right there we go. I've got I've, I've got some I've got some go. Let's um, try not to be here. Right, this is going to be this this may be difficult. I think he's got a better car than me, but I'm sincerely hoping that mine has is more predictable handling. I'm not going to say it's going to have better handling, but I'm hoping it's more predictable. And therefore, if I just bomb it down here, I'll be able to um, uh, <laughs> sneak a corner or two like that and get a bit away from them, from him. And I think if I'm free, which I seem to be, I'm going to take this... Um, what is this? Uh, blister. Because I used one of these earlier, and it, things went really well. It actually felt okay to drive, unlike the sort of unlike the uh, the car crash handling of all the other ones. If you'll pardon the pun. Oh dear, I've just run a red light right in front of a hunter, but I don't think he noticed. Excellent, because I'm quite close to the checkpoint now, and I'm pretty sure I'm not being chased. So, there's no traffic lights here. There's no hunters around. I'm just going to go for this. Oh, there's a truck. <laughs> I thought that was in the other lane. The truck is all over the place. That was a running another red light. That was not very convincing driving. But they've both gone past, so I'm okay with that. There's another one coming. Oh, he's gone down there. Excellent. That purple car there, I thought was Tristan for a minute, but it can't be because he's not allowed to drive one of those. Get out of my, get out of my lane! Bloody Priuses. <laughs> right, I don't want to be here. <clears throat> Let's just try and get a, get away from this the general area, general scene of the crime, um, and wait for the next checkpoint. Ooh. Um, yeah, this is going quite well actually. I'm. Not sure what I'm doing that's making it work so well, but <laughs> that I haven't been doing before. But I, I don't know whether it's luck or just things going well. That was not well. It's a green light. Let's drive off. That's me being followed. Let's get out of here. I think. Yeah, I, I don't think I reacted very well when I got rammed. I didn't react very convincingly. So, I need to consider myself to have been spot... What is that? What is going on there? That is not how you take a corner. What are you doing, you silly little blister? <coughs> oh, he's caught right up with me from that. All right. <clears throat> so, one of the things we've noticed is that cars are capable of going... With the, with the, um, the handling mods, cars are capable of going much faster than they are in normal GTA. But once you get up to speed, you can't really control the car and make it do what you want. I feel like I'm doing threading the needle quite well here. And if you want to actually do a turn like that, you really need to slow down. You see, sure then, I only just made it. Ed has gone into the bushes. Um, he's not obviously he's not used to this either because, well, no, nobody is. We've no, we've never played with this with this mod before. Uh, let's go through movie studios because that means I don't have to change direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it comes to something when your decision over where you're going to go is based on whether you think you've thought about braking soon enough or not. There's a truck there. Um, right. Obviously, I need a new car now. Um, because this one has been seen. Uh, let's not steal a car here. This is far too obvious a place. Let's get onto a slightly smaller road. Like this one. What's that? I almost don't care what the cars are, what car I use in the, with this, because no, no, steal the car, steal the car, don't punch the air, steal the car, right? Because the worst cars kind of make up for it by having slightly more predictable and slightly more manageable handling. So I'm going to reckon that this was is this an Astrope? Yes, an Astrope. Not my first choice, I have to admit, but I think it might do me reasonably well because. 
it's not going to be completely nuts when I put my foot down. It's still not going to take corners nicely. I'm still going to have to think about slowing down quite a lot. Oop, there's Pete right in front of me with a door missing. Well done there. Um, <laughs> oh, he suspects I'm trying to go for the... Oh, this is a this is a checkpoint here. I probably shouldn't be here. Oh, he's changing cars. Okay. He changed cars right inside the... That was clearly in the circle, the cheeky sod. You're not supposed to change cars inside the circle, Pete. <laughs> um... I'll have words with him later about that. I mean, he there was there was no chasing going on. There's no no no. It doesn't matter as such. But yeah, you, the other hunters aren't supposed to change cars inside the circle, so I should never see that happening. <laughs> but oh well, never mind. We'll let him off for now. Ooh, green light. We'll let him off for now. Okay, so North Vinewood. I'm I'm actually not quite sure where this checkpoint is. So um, I'll just head up this way and. Follow the big. No, actually, no. Let's not. Let's not follow the big road along. Let's follow this. Is this the big road? I don't think it is. I think this is the small road. And therefore, a better one to drive along because the hunters won't be using it quite so much as a main thoroughfare in theory. So, therefore, it's safer to drive along here because there's less likely to be a hunter driving along there as well. That's my theory. Do you mind? <laughs> Yeah, it turns out the AI can't drive either. Why are they all screaming and running? Oh, because Mike's over there. Fair enough. Um, right, I'm sat at a red light. I can't really go when there's a hunter driving directly towards me. That would look a bit too sus. Actually, that might not be him. Now, I don't see any orange lights. That probably isn't Mike. That's probably just one of those um, orange blisters that spawns in every so often. So, maybe... Oh, green light. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm safe. Oh, take the corner. There we go. Right, checkpoint four, here I come. This is going well. Um, I know I shouldn't say that. I should then touch wood and make all kinds of other sort of superstitious nonsenses. But I'm pretty pleased with this so far. I think the uh, the using the slightly... I was going to say I think the using the worst cars thing is, is working for me. But I did that in the first run, one of these runs and it didn't do so well. So, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm doing differently. I mean, apart from, you know, taking all the checkpoints. Right, one more to do. One more to go. One more to go. Where's this one going to be? Why am I so close to this taxi? Go faster, taxi. Right, come on. Is it... I have to wait 30 seconds before I'm told about the next checkpoint, which is a hangover from the old days where it was supposed to give the hunters a chance to um, to head over to it and get red and get sort of set up any, any sort of defences they wanted to have. Bump. Um... I set up any sort of defensive guard positions around the checkpoint, but they don't do that anymore, thankfully. Oh, Origin, that's really close. Okay, awesome. I'm going for that one. Oop, that is not where the lane goes. Here we go. This is better. Oh, the car really picks up speed if you just leave it. Ro if you just let it roll down a hill. I mean, which, real, which is good, realistic stuff like that. Yeah, sure. But ooh, it was a bit unexpected because I'm pretty sure that normally take lifting your foot off. The car uh, lifting your foot off, lifting your finger off the trigger, foot off the accelerator, makes your car slow down quite quickly in GTA. Okay, there's the uh, there's the finish line. Well, it's not the finish line. I take that, and then the um, then I have to do the make a bid for freedom thing. Um, hey, you know what might, might be entertaining? I don't actually. I don't know if it would be entertaining. I think. Well, apparently we're. Um, <laughs> I think, I think I, I bolted at a time when I really, really shouldn't have done then because he had no idea that was me and then I blatantly gave myself away. That was stupid. Oh, there's Ed. Is he, which way is he going? Okay, he's going straight on. In that case, I'll go down here. <laughs> is Tristan still there? Probably. Can I see him? No. Let's just go around the, um, around the loop. Yep, there, there he is, and he's got Mark with him as well. Okay, this is then, then this is a chase. I'm not going to go and try and take the checkpoint. I'm just going to put my foot down. I'm in an astrope though, so putting my foot down is probably not going to go as well for me as I would hope. So let's put, drop the anchors and try and... Oh, truck. Oh, yes. I'm getting better at this, he says, but absolutely massacring a motorbike. Um... Yeah, I managed to brake at the right time, and I managed to dodge a truck, both of which are quite, I feel, are achievements. Oh, that's a big slide into the bin. Made it round the corner, though. Oh, he's catching up. 
Oop, that was a conveniently placed. Um, I don't even know what that. I didn't even see what that was. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, block Tristan, block Tristan, block Tristan. No, he didn't block Tristan well enough. Damn. Okay, where is the other? A beach is the other checkpoint. Okay, so they they know that I was lurking around in that area. So they they don't know whether I was lurking around in that area because I'd just taken the Vinewood checkpoint, or whether it's because I was going. Or they might think it was because I'd just taken the Vinewood checkpoint when actually it's because I was about to take the Origin one. However. If I make a run for the beach area, what is Tristan doing? <laughs> Massive slidey moments there. I didn't find, manage to capitalise properly on that though, unfortunately. Um, ooh, the end or breaking manoeuvre is going to be spectacularly spectacular in this uh, with this because they're not going to be able to stop as well as well. Actually, then nor am I. I can think of it, so maybe it won't be as much as good as I sort of feel it should be. Okay, there's two of them now. If I do that there, okay, that spun him. It's going to take him longer to recover than he's used to. Oh, that's another car. Right, Tristan's pointing that. Whoa, bump. Um, how well did J? How well does just reversing away work? Can I do a J turn with this mode? Now, hopefully, I should have hopefully have bulletproof tires because I'm driving a car that's worse than a coupe. So, Tristan is using the sniper rifle because because that's his, as is his way. He likes doing that. Um, Okay, I think I can probably stop ducking. Oh, okay, I've just got Ed with me. And we discovered earlier that Ed isn't very good at judging braking points. So let's try that. Okay, Ed and... Um, who was that? Uh, Max. <laughs> there, there we go. Knew it was someone. Let's turn the circle off. Okay, so that's going to hope... Oh no, Mark is still there. I was going to say, hopefully turning the circle off is going to allow me to get away. I don't know whether it is. Let's take the middle road here because that might be a, a road less travelled. I'm going to try and put a bit of distance down before I even consider... Ooh, I saw a green car in, in, in a bush up there. That's promising. Oh, there's no air control either, because realistic handling and... <laughs> you can't control a vehicle in mid-air when it's in real life. So that's fair, I suppose. Um, let's switch to that coquette. It means breaking a window. And it means using a sporty, ridiculous car. Um, which may or may not be a good thing. So I'm going to have a lot of speed in this. I'm going to be able to run away from them. Uh, circle. There we go. Um, I'm going to be able to run away from them quite effectively. But um, handling is going to be difficult. And I've got a broken window. It's on the right side of the vehicle. Which I think is the better place to have a broken window. Um, paranoid. I'm going on the motorway here. Um, I think it's better to have a broken window on the right side of the vehicle because I think it's less obvious, less visible, because it's on the um, on the side that people don't see quite so much. Okay, let's head over here. Quick burst on the highway to get me over this way. Uh, where are you, where are you going, Lawrence? Stick to the stick to the stick to the roads. That's a good chap. Right. Okay. So I'm obviously in the beach area now, which is problematic. Ooh, I don't have to take the beach checkpoint, though. I could go back all the way back across the city and take the origin. That's probably quite a good idea. Let's do that, because they're going to think... They're going to see where I've gone and think, yes, he's going for the beach, or the... No, I've already, I've already taken the pier, check, pier entrance once on this run, so I wouldn't get it again. Um... I don't know whether I'm going to be, uh, be confusing them with all, whether I'm going to be confusing them or myself more with this tactics. But I'm going to try and run back across the city now. And I say when I say run, I mean at a sensible speed, because oop, there goes one hunter, two hunters, red hunter, blue hunter. Um, <laughs> no, it was a blue and a green, but you know. Uh, right, oop, there's another um, blister. I did like the blister. It was quite a good car. But I think I've used them quite a bit today, so I'm going to stop that now. Uh, stop there. Hello? Those look like sports. That's a sports car behind me. Is it going to stop in time? Just. <laughs> very, very just. There's a banshee playing silly what's names over there, but he's playing with the blister, not me, so that's okay. Uh, right, okay, I'm not far to go. Let's go. 
Am I on the main road going from one to the other? I think I probably am. Was that Mike? He's turning around. I think it was Mike. That's M Mark, because it's tumbling, and it's green. Oh, that's bad driving, but I seem to have mostly survived. Up here, go this way. No, see me, don't 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 see me. I don't think they saw me. That's one of my abandoned cars from earlier. I'm not switching back to that, because I probably abandoned it for a reason. But I do want to think about a replacement. of All right, let's take another blister. It see, feels like... It's turning into the cliche today. Ow. Oh, no. Get in the... Don't just stand there like a... Oh, for goodness sake. I think I was doomed from as soon as I got out of the car, but... Oh. oh I thought I got away from him. I feel when Lawrence kind of takes off in his YouTube career and has his millions, he needs to buy us all steering wheels and gear sticks and whatnot. Yeah. No, he'll have to buy us cars and we'll do it in real life. So someone's in a Vinewood uh, movie tour bus thing. Ooh. Oh, he's, he's near the... Oh. He's on the edge of this, so a ghetto maybe. I found, yes, white car. Ghetto uh, churches, just take him. Yeah. Or Rails Cross, I'm not sure which. which. Way, sorry. Uh, ghetto church. He's either taking Ghetto Church or Rails Cross, I'm not sure which. Yes, Ghetto, ghetto Church. Okay. So you I am white holding car. a white car at speed, uh, eastbound at the fire department. I don't yeah, know I don't what that speed. is. It's not AI. Uh, Cross the train tracks, eastbound, yeah, jump circle jumped with him. He crashed it. Kind of stuck. He's where the about where the storm drain starts. We're on the east side of the impound lot, slightly south of it. Actually, we're going to the east side of the impound lot. On the other side of the train that is on the east side. Oh, uh, I saw that in the distance, uh, Pete. I was about to mock at, you for your crash, the and then I did that. The impound lot. <laughs> Westbound, passing hospital, passing the morgue. Turn right towards the square of squares. Mike, come back! The past no. ammunitions underneath the highway, we're at square of squares on the west side heading northbound. He's using his uh, straight line speed on me. I'm only in a Divitante, so I'm not keeping up. It's a Massacro kind of car, I don't know what it's a sports car. Uh, east or uh, west of square square? Still, he's, still, he's still heading north, still heading north. He's uh, past the final plaza. I've lost tires. Mike Durant, we won't oh, take you behind. He's, he's at um, Rockford Plaza now. Rockford Plaza, the, the, uh, the mall, the westbound. He was on the road where the, um, where you can go into the jump, basically, at the construction site. He was there and he went west. So it was a white sports car, not in the online spawn set, uh, Master Crow or. Uh, I don't know what cars are actually in that spot set. Oh, Nor does anyone else, so it's fine. Uh, circle jump to uh, west. Uh, strange behavior from a banshee that is. But it, but it passed to be a banshee. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think I found him heading south. Uh, I think he's changed cars in a grey sedan. Heading south into ghetto. I don't think anything on it for a moment. But yeah, had pretty loss. Yes, it is a sports car. Oh, we're not allowed sports cars, are we? Eight. Every time I try to leave the circle, it moves. Please let me leave the circle, Lawrence. <laughs> Saw that Mike. So I assume with that jump, uh, he's on the highway, but it's just feeling.
Mike, do you want to head back to the heliport? Um, I'm at the distance. heliport. Uh, north of the heliport. The light blue SUV. Heading towards Chinese Monument. Yeah, got you. This is him? Yeah. Towards beach checkpoint. Turn. I'm coming down. Yep. Ah. Jump with you. No, I crashed. No, I'm coming down. Uh, he's shot ahead to the beach checkpoint. Uh, this car yeah, I'll right. drive the other way around for Spucci. Uh, okay, that's not you, Tristan. There is a <laughs> there is a purple inferno. I thought that no, that's you, not but... me. I saw that. Well. <laughs> yeah. I wish my car was anywhere near that sort of quality. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, jump. that's not. That's, he's north, not a black guy. He's a white guy in a grey suit, and I've got him going. He's headed towards uh, five, well, past five ways. He is wrecked horribly. Um, he's going up towards uh, Life in Video. He is turned Very west, west towards Life in Video. He's driving below, below it. He is in the opposing lane of traffic, hitting things. Now he's not in the opposing lane of traffic. Still west from Life Invader, past Binko. Uh, that's an orange car. You just drove past him. Yep. Uh, I can just block him. Failed. Still west. Still west. Going towards the backslash, which is the small thing to the highway, small slip route. And he's turned left at pier entrance. I've lost control of my car. Uh, I just can't. Sorry, that. South of pier entrance. <laughs> <laughs> just saw all the cars go pelty into that yeah object. He was left at Astro. I don't know where he went. He's a white guy in a gray suit, though. He's not black. Huh. Car taking off um, into Vanward Hills. Give me a second. Uh, is that in the circle? I shot there, so it is for Probably now, not. and now it's not. So we're fine. Okay. Uh, there's another one coming up to west of the checkpoint. Who's who rammed into me? Turning west away from the checkpoint. My car's really right. struggling to get up the hill. Yeah, west man towards the uh... hill checkpoint or grey one heading south from the. Two west of the check of the Vinewood checkpoint. I'm with you. Him. One road yeah, north of deep. North Shopping Centre. Heading east. Whoa! Oh, oh, south. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. enough on the wrong side of the road that I think that's him. That's him, yeah. Uh Take turning it south. Uh, 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 west towards shopping centre. North side of shopping centre, sorry. West towards that point. Uh, one junction ahead of it, we've turned left south. Next to the construction yard. Yes. Uh, east along the north side of the construction site. <coughs> right, the city. Um, city south. Ball, city. Uh, towards. Pillbox uh, Hill. Hill. A square of squares. Northwest corner of square of squares, still heading south. Still heading south. Uh, turning the west. Right of elimination. Uh, Bike! <laughs> continuing west across. To, to construction. Big Banner Hotel, Westbound, construction side behind uh, Weasel News, northbound now behind Weasel News. Towards the um, opposite of the car, car park. park. Point. Turning east Red towards the car, car park. It looks to be a grey Astro, a near black Astro. 
eastbound from red car park towards construction site. Green is him. Yep. Whoa. Getting out. He's at uh, Maze Bank. Uh, the big one. Uh, Arcadius. Uh, north. Heading north. Please be careful ah, with our tires. <coughs> north of the tires. Pass construction, yeah. If you want to snipe him, <coughs> let us know. We'll stay out of your way. Uh, like, not right behind him. Mm, I lost control. He turned left. And next left, I think. Yeah. Uh, Turn circle, circle off. Stable. So this is west of Arcadia, so he's coming back, is uh, it? No, yeah, yeah, south of uh, Rockford Plaza, heading west. Keep him cool out, so I'm south of... I've um, lost him temporarily. I think he's near the medical center uh, area. Near five ways. I saw him go this direction and I want to see him. I'm approaching side five ways from the south. I assume he will quickly change cars after he's uh Yeah. He's disabled the circle since the circle is disabled. Yeah, he's right and in it's this gone. area. I'm changing cars. Where? Where? Uh, near the PD? Yeah. Nice. nice. Nicely done. There's no from the PD. Though. It's a Hispanic male, which is why you thought black and then white. Oh, yeah. okay. I saw a car speeding in the distance. I thought I got away from you. You sped past the junction in front of me? Yes. And no, then you, uh, well, I ran up. I ran it. Oh, after, I'd, after I thought I'd escaped, I then. Oh, yeah. okay. As in, like. Two seconds before I shot you. Oh, uh, maybe three. We seconds. didn't find you. We didn't find you in the last uh, three minutes. 